All right, and welcome to the second Beast Wars toy review I'm going to do today. Just because I want to. Because I love Beast Wars and stuff. But here is one of my favorite figures, at least, you know, from my childhood. It is Beast Wars Polar Claw. The uh, Polar Bear Maximal Transformer. And he is, like, loaded with gimmicks. He's a big, thick boy, thick Voyager, not Voyager, Mega. They were Megas uh, back in the day. But yeah, ooh, squeak. He's, uh, he's got lots of gimmicks. He kind of has, this is sort of articulation, I guess you could say, for his, you know, uh, beast mode here. I think it is more meant for the, uh, uh, robot mode transformation, but I guess you could say it's articulation. He does have, I think, at least one gimmick. Yeah, he has one gimmick in this mode, where if you stand him up on his back legs here, he has, like, this roaring gimmick where he shows you his fangs and stuff. You can kind of get it on camera. There we go. There you go. So yeah, I think that's basically it in this mode. So now we're going to try and transform him. And just like Bone Crusher, I have not transformed this guy in forever. So I'm going to start, there we go, by lifting that part up. Because I think that frees up the mechanism. I'm not sure. And I'm also going to spread these out. And then I think... We want to, do we, ooh, that does not sound good. Let, let's bring out, uh, let's bring out these parts of his legs here first. Let me just reach in, you flip the toe out, bring those down. I think maybe we need to, yeah, I think we need to bring one at a time so that the mechanism kind of stays in place and stuff. There we go. I think that's okay. There. Good enough for now. We'll figure it out. And I'm going to raise the camera up again. There he is. Level off a little bit. There we go. Alright. So once you kind of have him standing, you basically just have to spread the arms apart if you want to. Please. Oh, very stiff, very scary, because this, and, oh, we want to take a fist, and then just, just turn it, or do it the other way, there we go, you can flip this down, and now, you can flip the robot head out, although he has two, and I think I need to raise this up more, because he is quite, quite tall. Uh, but in the meantime, we'll lock in the torso. I think is there actually a thing that no, it just like closes up there, and then yeah, that is supposed to peg into that hole there. All right, so raise it up just a tiny bit more. I'm gonna try and move it back as far as I can. Maybe I'll move him back. There we go. Now you can actually see him. So he does have. Um, <laughs> And then I move him back and then I have to move him forward again to show you the faces. So he has this head and then you turn around and he has this head. So I'm guessing this is supposed to be the robot head. Also, what is this? Yeah, you can push in his mohawk. I think that's part of the... Wait. What's... <laughs> We're doing some discovery here. Yeah, that is. <laughs> okay. So if you want to have him talk like this... You just have to push that button on the top of his head. There we go. <laughs> okay. So, close him up there. Personally, I prefer this head. I don't know why. This one is just kind of like too cheesy. Look at that grin on him. That is just like, err. This one, this one's a little more cool. Yeah. 
Honestly, I don't know. This looks more robotic somehow than this one, which looks very almost human. But yeah, there we go. That's his his head of choice for me. And this thing already kind of, if you can see it on the camera, already kind of auto transformed by itself. Just position these like that. And there we go. And he can spread his legs a little bit. Oh, you gotta flip up his little uh, bare feetsies here as his knee pads. But yeah, there we go. That is Polar Claw in robot mode. A very cool toy. I really loved this toy as a kid. Uh, he kind of reminded me of Soundwave and Blaster, and I'll get to that right now. Because as you may be able to see, he does have this little gimmick here. If you push the button on top here, push the button on top here. Push it. Ooh, okay. So that flew out and then kind of auto transformed a little bit. There we go. There we go. So he transforms into a little bat. And I love bats. I think they're so cute. I don't know. I know some people don't like bats. But I think they're pretty cute. And the cool thing is you see that he has these uh, hand force. I'm not sure. Are these 5 millimeter? Let me check. What do I got here? Uh, I still have... You know what? I'm going to steal this one. I'm going to steal Optimus's gun because I still have him here. And uh, they're a little bit bigger than 5mm, because that went in too easily. And it's a little loose, but you could theoretically use modern uh, modern weapons with these guys if you wanted. Or at least him. But yeah. Which now, now that makes me wonder. Okay, I'll bring Optimus in here. Will he fit into Optimus's fist? No. No, well, sort of, uh, almost. There we go. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm not supposed to demonstrate it with him, but he, you can hold him with Optimus. So that's interesting. Don't want to stress out his port too much, though. So. What does he look like with the axe? Yeah, that looks kind of cool. Yeah, that's kind of fitting. But anyways. I'll give you your little... I forget what this guy's name is. I should... I think, I want to say it's like Night Scream or something. That's probably what it is. Although I could just be thinking of the Beast Machines character. You can, like, tap on his wings and try to make him flap. So you can hold him like that. Or you can, like, obviously do, like, that. And so he's kind of, like... The laser beak or rat bat to his sound wave or blaster. Uh, did blaster have any like little bird cassettes? I don't think he did. He had ram horn, steel jaw, and then he had like rewind and eject. I think so. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Oh, uh, the other gimmick is that he has, like, this weird bone claw thing that, like, launches out like that, which is kind of out of focus. We could do that again. There you go. One more time. There you go. So, didn't really use that one too much because I don't really see the point of it. You can also, like, you can have them slung like that, or I would usually... Bleh. And it wanted to unspring on me because, just because, probably because I touched that little button. But you can just have them hang back like that. This kind of does look like a uh, Soundwave's uh, gun thing. But we can make that back slung too to get him out of the way. So yeah, another thing, again, this is me as a child trying to give him some sort of weapon and it's funny because there this was a thing in uh, Master Force 
not Master Force, uh, Victory. So if you fold in his little feats like that, and you have him like this, just have him like upside down, try and not have him auto transform. If you position the wings just so, kind of like that, you guys can see, there is enough room to peg him in like that. And now he kind of has a blaster and a pretty cool blaster, I think, because he's kind of got the, the main barrel here and kind of like two little barrels up here. So I think that's pretty cool. He's little uh, bat friend can sort of turn into a blaster, even if it may not be intentional, but I think that's pretty awesome. But I will transform him back to, ooh, okay, do not, do not break, please, please do not break. Uh, okay, so I will transform him back. But yeah, there is Polar Claw. We were supposed to, or almost got a Generations, or not Generations, well, kind of Generations, a uh, Kingdom version of this guy. Uh, but I guess he was like one of the figures that was like, like they almost decided to make him, but they didn't at the last second or something. Hopefully we get a Polar Claw, a new Polar Claw. Because, you know, he could use an update. I mean, you know, his original figure is pretty good. He could use some more articulation. They could cut out the whole, you know, gimmick of the roaring thing or whatever. Just to give him more proper articulation. These, you know, <laughs> he is what he is. He's a product of the 90s. So, yeah, but still. That is Polar Claw, one of my favorite Beast Wars toys. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, all that stuff. And I'll see you back here soon for one more Beast Wars toy before we end the day. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.